Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers at Paul Redfern 2252. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, how is vegan leather made? For centuries, genuine leather has been synonymous with durability, luxury, and craftsmanship. Yet behind its allure lies an industry that raises concerns about environmental impact, animal welfare, and resource consumption. But what if we told you there's a way to get the look and feel of leather without the ethical and environmental cost? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of leather alternatives right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, vegan leather is any leather-like material that does not involve animal hides. Unlike traditional leather, which relies on the skin of cows, sheep, or other animals, vegan leather can be made from synthetic compounds, plant-based sources, or a combination of both. The goal is to replicate the texture, flexibility, and strength of leather without the ethical and environmental drawbacks. Early versions of synthetic leather relied heavily on petroleum-based materials, but modern advancements have led to more sustainable alternatives derived from natural ingredients. As research progresses, manufacturers are finding ways to balance durability with biodegradability, making vegan leather a viable solution for the future. One of the most common forms of vegan leather is polyurethane, PU, leather. PU leather is created through a process that begins with a fabric base, often polyester or cotton, coated with a layer of polyurethane to mimic the grain and feel of real leather. The manufacturing process involves casting the liquid polymer onto a release paper, embossing it with a textured pattern, and curing it under heat. Once dry, the material is peeled away, revealing a supple, leather-like surface. Some variations incorporate water-based or bio-based polyurethanes, reducing the reliance on fossil fuels while maintaining durability. PU leather is widely used in fashion, upholstery, and accessories, offering a lightweight and flexible alternative to animal leather. However, while PU leather eliminates the need for animal hides, it still poses environmental challenges due to its plastic content, which can contribute to microplastic pollution if not disposed of properly. Beyond synthetics, plant-based vegan leather marks a shift towards sustainability. A standout innovation is Pinatex, made from pineapple leaf fibers, a byproduct of the fruit industry. Discarded leaves are harvested, stripped of fibers, and processed into a non-woven mesh, then treated with resin for durability and water resistance. The result is a flexible, breathable leather alternative. Popular in sustainable fashion, Pinatex proves nature can replace conventional materials. Though not as thick or long-lasting as real leather, it's a lightweight, cruelty-free option for accessories, footwear, and upholstery. Another breakthrough in the vegan leather industry comes from mycelium, the root structure of fungi. Grown in controlled environments, mycelium spores feed on organic matter, forming a dense mat that can be harvested and tanned like animal leather. Its key advantage is biodegradability and rapid production, growing in days instead of years. Unlike synthetics, mycelium leather decomposes naturally, reducing environmental impact. Luxury brands and furniture designers are already exploring its potential, as it can be engineered to match the durability and texture of traditional leather. Cactus leather is another promising alternative, especially in arid regions where nopal cacti thrive with minimal water. The process starts with harvesting mature pads which are cleaned, mashed, and sun-dried for days before being processed into a soft, durable leather-like fabric. Unlike petroleum-based synthetics, cactus leather is partially biodegradable and uses far less water than traditional and synthetic leathers. Its resilience and flexibility make it popular in high-end fashion and automotive interiors, with major car manufacturers already exploring it for eco-friendly upholstery. Apple leather, another plant-derived alternative, utilizes waste from the apple juice industry. Apple peels and cores, which would otherwise be discarded, 
are ground into a fine pulp and mixed with a polymer binder to create a durable and versatile leather substitute. This method not only reduces food waste, but also minimizes reliance on fossil fuel-based materials. The final product closely resembles genuine leather, offering a balance between sustainability and performance. Apple leather has gained attention in the fashion industry, with designers using it for shoes, handbags, and clothing. With continued development, scientists are working toward binders that make Apple leather fully biodegradable, reducing its footprint even further. Despite the benefits of vegan leather, challenges remain. Some plant-based leathers still require synthetic binders to achieve durability, making them less biodegradable than pure natural fibers. Additionally, while synthetic leathers eliminate the ethical concerns of animal farming, they can contribute to plastic pollution if not properly managed. As technology advances, researchers are working toward fully biodegradable and bio-based solutions that strike a balance between performance and sustainability. There is also the challenge of cost. While vegan leathers have made significant strides in affordability, certain plant-based options still require extensive processing, making them more expensive than mass-produced PU leather. The goal for manufacturers is to scale up production while maintaining environmental responsibility, ensuring that vegan leather remains accessible to consumers and industries alike. Looking to the future, the evolution of vegan leather represents a broader movement toward ethical and sustainable material choices. Whether derived from pineapple fibers, mycelium, cactus, or innovative biopolymers, vegan leather is redefining what it means to craft durable and stylish products. As consumers demand more sustainable options, industries will continue to refine their processes, seeking alternatives that minimize harm to the planet while maintaining the quality and luxury associated with leather. With further advancements in material science and an increasing commitment to eco-conscious production, the leather industry may soon find itself at a turning point, one where sustainability, technology, and ethics converge to shape a new era of materials. The future of leather may not be leather at all, but rather a sophisticated blend of nature and innovation, offering a cruelty-free and environmentally responsible alternative for generations to come. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.